fellow Raptorians, welcome back and good to see you all here for more of Captain of Industry. This game's a lot of fun, so we're back to play more because it's just a good game. Good news, I have keys to give away for this game for all of you. So just simply by watching the channel, subscribe and hitting the like button, following, whatever you do to support, well, everybody's eligible. So jump on the Discord, links down below in the description, general chat there. Also, uh, Twitch subs, I gotta remember too. Uh, I need to do something in order to make it so our Twitch subs and our YouTube members can both join our member slash uh, Twitch sub only section of the Discord. So I'll be uh, trying to do something uh, or figuring out what I need to do today. I gotta ask somebody because I'm not entirely sure. And uh, we run our Discord with a few other people. So I wanna make sure if I make a change that uh, it's the right one and people don't <laughs> come to me panic saying I broke something. So welcome back. Good to see you all here. Locked in. Dino Nugs are ready. Let's roll. Game's a lot of fun, by the way. We've been playing um, Captain of Industry uh, on and off whenever there's been updates, and this newest update uh, blew me away, as I always say, really. Um, if you're a big fan of Factorio and or Factory or, or even City Builders, this game has uh, uh, quite a bit more city building than it did before, but uh, even more now to building your factory. It's crazy. New music, uh, new vehicles, new, new, new. There's a lot of new, new, new. Like new maps, all sorts of new stuff. All right, just uh, had to download it real quick, and now we're jumping in. So thanks for your patience. Thanks for watching, and welcome back to all y'all. 
all y'all welcome back raptoria let's get locked in for another big o the big o stream oh well there you go there's all your uh, change log right there once you jump right in all right let's continue where we left off y'all sexy waiting screen is a good one isn't it it is, isn't it, Rex? <laughs> Yo, Trippy Mark, thank you very much for the 52 months as a Raptor Egg. Thank you very much for the support. That's awesome. Yes, this game does have combat. In fact, this uh, ship here can be armed with guns. So you can actually uh, eventually make the ship longer. You can upgrade the engine. You can upgrade the bridge. You can add guns to it. Eventually, you start making munitions and stuff for the ship in your factories. So... Um, yeah, you get, a, you get a giant battleship, essentially, and uh, probably more to come in the future on that uh, combat aspect. I think, uh, I mean, if you're going to make a factory that makes giant battleship shells, there's probably some other stuff we could make in the future, too. Maybe more ships in the future, maybe an aircraft carrier, maybe aircraft, I don't know. They would be cool, though. Helicopters would be great. Also, trains. Trains in this game would be amazing. Uh, right now, it's mostly just trucks and pipes, but, uh, and I think the reason that they don't have trains yet is because they're, the maps are not... Actually, the maps are quite big, but I'm sure there's going to be trains at some point, but not at the moment. It's a little small for, like, a large train, but you could definitely do something where at least a ton of materials are put onto something that then moves to another area and goes back and forth. So that's pretty cool. Pretty cool indeed. All right. That'd be cool, too. A war train would be amazing. Imagine if, like, uh, what would be really cool is if an enemy fleet came to the island. Right now, you just bring the fight to the enemy and fight them at sea. But it'd be really cool if they actually tried to attack your island and then you had to build defenses. That could be something we see in the future. But this game is still, like, in development. So any cool ideas you have for the devs, make sure you share because they uh, are probably listening right now. All right, let's do some research. Let's get some research started. Um... Let's see, copper is good. Let's do, let's get the basic tools out of the way. And then, uh, let's do the ramps for vehicles. And then the captain's office. We'll finish all the research left of the uh, conveyor belts there. Looks like there's also blueprinting. We'll add that too. All right, cool. Lots of research to do. All right, so now we're supposed to produce um, 10 copper. Is the game paused? No, we're good. All right, so uh, I think we got copper coming out on these conveyor belts and stuff. And, oh, and we also have the trucks delivering more materials. So we're getting, uh, our major thing right now is we're waiting for construction parts to be built. We got a little bit of a, little bit of a bottleneck. But I think we worked to fix that by having all these uh, things make. Is there a way to see that stuff? Oh, yeah. Yeah, they're all making construction parts. It literally shows it on the building now, which is nice. This last one's not making anything. Uh, let's make that. There we go. Oh, it, do it doesn't show it on the building, though. It doesn't show it there. Hmm, that's strange. Yo, Christian! Let's get some dino nugs in the chat for the big O hundred Swedish kroner and the first super chat on the channel, bro. Appreciate your support, man. I'll let the bot read that one, and then I'll uh, give you a little shout out too. Well, I kind of already did, but yeah, thanks, man, for watching. Lovely to have you here. Text me, get my compass. How do bro? How do? If only there were tanks. Oh, now that could be a thing in the future. It'd be actually interesting if they had something where you had to do uh, naval landings yourself. That'd be interesting. Maybe this doesn't have the symbol above it because it hasn't made those things yet. Like, it's assigned to construction parts, but it hasn't made any just yet. Looks like we're getting some good research done, too. And we got another group of four going on. Cool. How are coal levels? Wood is at zero. That's bad. We got to get some more coal going, then. Oh, okay. Oh, it looks like the harvesters are just trying to harvest wood as fast as they can. Oh, yeah. So we're gathering wood. It's just taking a little while. Okay. Love the zooming on this game, too. Only uh, thing I wish is Q and E. I wish there could be a smooth rotate. That'd be nice. 
And we got a vehicle here that can't make its way up the hill. Wow, there we go. Oh, why can't it clear that area right in front of it? Should be able to clear that out. Mm. Awesome game. Enjoy and have fun. Thank you, bro. Appreciate it, man. All right, I'm just going to try to clear this whole section here then. Can he get to any of those sections? Oh, or is he? St oh, I think he got stuck up here on the hill. Is he like stuck by those rocks or something? Can I give him move orders? Sends the vehicle to the vehicle depot to be scrapped for parts. Recover. Enables. Oh, there we go. We can give him orders. I think he got himself stuck between those rocks. I'm going to try to get him to excavate his way out of there. Oh, oh. Now, let's see if he can excavate his way out of the little uh, hole he's dug for himself. I think he was just stuck there. Anyway. All right, we got a mining operation that still needs to be started, but we're all good for now. Has this got any copper ore in it? All right, what's our biggest slowdown on construction equipment? Wait, we were producing 29 here. Oh, we're, we're actually making construction parts. We've got 17, so it's, it's working. I really think we should make these into it too, but I gotta make more bricks. No, we got plenty of bricks. It was wood that we were having problems with. That's why we were having so many wood problems. Cool. Trains would seriously be fun for this game. I know. Imagine building the, you know, like you'd have to get steel to build the tracks. Then you'd have to cut wood and stuff to make the railroad ties. I could imagine being a very simple railroad at the start. Or maybe there'd be a way where you could make concrete ties and have like a heavier train or a more um, high speed train. And of course, you could have diesel trains or uh, electric trains. That'd be interesting. All right, things are happening. Oh, yeah, we're going to do a fuel delivery over here so the vehicles on this side don't have to drive all the way across the map. That's cool. We're just waiting for things to get done. Looks like this guy made his way out. Good. All right, we're still making more trucks. We need a lot more trucks. So we're making vehicles here. We need more vehicle parts for another harvester. All right, so we're going to do a harvester first to try to get more wood. So that's important. Bum, 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 bum. Um, the map's beautiful, too. This is almost on par with City Skylines 1. Like, seriously. Some of the details here look like... Um, I'd say it looks like 75% City Skylines 1 with a sprinkling of... Uh, um, workers and Resources Soviet Republic just a little bit with how like some of the trees and stuff look although the, I, I think honestly I think Workers and Resources is kind of ugly and I think it works for that game I think that's a I think that fits that game wonderfully yeah a little Anno too yeah for sure now, look at how beautiful this is they've added like volumetric fog and rain and stuff in this game It's it's looking more and more nice than ever before I wonder if they'll ever have uh, snow in this game. Like, maybe we'll be able to go to a colder island where we have to worry about seasons. And then maybe we'd have to, like, keep our cities warm. So some of the coal and whatnot could go to boilers to keep the uh, city warm. All right. Farm could not store all potatoes. That's fine. They're still working on making a potato storage, I'm pretty sure. Okay, so now we should have a truck importing diesel fuel so the trucks and the uh, harvester don't have to drive all the way over there to refuel hopefully we're harvesting soil for the brick factory and copper for the smelter we should be getting construction parts for that soon what else are we building 
Frostpunk will be playing. Oh, yeah, we're going to be playing that later today. Man, imagine a Frostpunk game that played like Factorio. Imagine that. Maybe fact, uh, Frostpunk 2 will play like that. By the way, the Frostpunk 2 uh, closed beta is on uh, April 15th, so on tax day, everybody. So, and I think it's a pre-order beta only. Like, you can only get into it if you pre-ordered the game. Okay, we're getting more blueprints done. Very nice. I guess we're kind of just waiting for things to get done here. And then when that harvester is done, we need to make more trucks. We just do. It just works. We just we just do. All of this just works. Thank you, Todd. Do four more trucks. Too many games coming out in April and May. I know. It, unfortunately, there's just too much stuff. Which is why we oftentimes have to do like one and dones of games that we really enjoy. Um... And I'm trying to fight against that a little bit, but honestly, you know, I could just cover Manor Lords pretty much every day from now until its release in like 16 days. I mean, there's enough stuff there to talk about to release a video, a hype video on it constantly. But, um, and, and then of course we'll make content after, but I got to branch out a little bit because I don't want just Manor Lords. Manor Lords is not the only good game releasing this year. We've also got Farthest Frontier coming out later this year, too. And that's a pretty game. Yeah, a lot of hype. A lot of excitement. There's a lot of hype. There's a lot of hype. There's a lot of hype. I know you guys can't wait for Manor Lords, I know. And probably what's going to happen, Chad, is more than likely here on the channel we'll get a little early access to it beforehand and be able to show it off before it comes out, so... I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. It'll make the wait maybe more painful. Or maybe not. Maybe you'll start thinking of... Uh, I mean, we all got to play the demo. I wonder, I wonder if that was the most downloaded demo of all time. I don't know. Me and everybody else who uh, covered that demo tried to get everyone uh, excited about it. Wow, look at all the stuff we just completed. All right. Copper refinement, done. Construction 2 of 2, done. Uh, research conveyor belts, done. Uh, establish a coal mine and start mining coal. Excellent. Incursion Red River? I've not heard of that game. Is that... That sounds like a first-person shooter, maybe. Is that what that is? Have I played Lasora Summit Kingdom yet? Yep. Video's on the channel. Just went up earlier today, and we've also um, covered it before, too, in a live stream. The demo we played, but Early Access Lasora Summit Kingdom video is now up on the channel, and we'll probably live stream that tomorrow, as well as the Planet Crafter. Trying to find who to play multiplayer with. So uh, I, th I think I got the perfect person. Tactical Extraction Shooter? I'd play that. I'd need somebody else to play with, though. Yeah. Thank you. I'll check it out. Yeah, enjoy. It's it's only like a less than an hour video of the first little kind of like forced tutorial mission. But it's fun. It's It doesn't feel like a tutorial as much as it is a tutorial. But it doesn't feel like it as much. Because they're setting up the story. So it's pretty nice. I like it. Yes, The Crust. That is another outstanding game that we played. Uh, a moon mining simulator where eventually like a moon quake happens and there's like lots of cool building and stuff in that game. It's very much... Fa it's like this game. Like imagine this but on the moon. Kind of. Drones and things like that. Very cool. Okay, we need to set this one to coal. Actually, let's set this one to copper ore first. Copper ore. Where is that? Boom. And then this one will set to coal. Okay, if they want us to build a coal mine, I have to build a few things first. We've got to build an excavator, too. And I'm going to start with a couple of trucks because they can help now. Excavator can help later. What's our vehicle list? Is there a vehicle list? There is. All right, so we only have two excavators. One at the uh, copper mine, one at the iron mine. Oh, look at that guy. Oh, dude, look at this. The freaking... Dude, okay. See, we need games where when you build a road up into the mountains that you actually have to bring out, like, excavators and trucks to pull away all that soil and stuff. I would love a city builder. And uh, Workers of Resources comes pretty damn close to that. Perfection in terms of how long it takes to build a city. Like, just a painful amount of time you have to wait for some of that stuff. Really cool. Oh, we need to select diesel there. Then the trucks can resupply. 
Cool. Oh, they're snapping into action. Go, boys! I hope these buildings that are connected directly have auto conveyors. I'm pretty sure they do. Alright, so a harvester should be coming off the line next to cure that wood problem that we have. Is this building off or something? We're fine. All right, what else do they want us to do? Build a fuel station and connect it with fluid storage. Oh, I'm already way ahead of that, too. So this goal is about to be done as soon as they deliver fuel. And then coal mine we're going to have to wait on. Build a loose storage and connect it with the blast furnace to output slag. Uh, which blast furnace is outputting slag? This one. All right, so let's build a slag storage. And that's a U-shape that we need to use? Yeah. Uh, let's go up over. How do I go up? Oh, that's what Q and E are for. Okay. That's fine. I just need space for those trucks to get in there. Gamer Chick, thanks for upgrading to a Raptor Plus member. All right. Thank you very much for the support. Good to see you back. That's good. Happy to see you on Twitch. How long have you been streaming here? Uh, been streaming here since about January 1st. So about four months now. Feels good. You wait a minute. You know what I could do is build a little ramp over that. Ah, they've already built it. It's all good. Here comes the slag. Yeah, Dino Nug, show the hype. There's a lot of hype. Hell yeah. Assign pickup to the fuel station to have it automatically refuel all your excavators. Oh. Yeah, we need one. Oh, I see they're going to bring fuel to them, I think. Okay, um, loose storage. Okay, that's working now. Uh, research settlement water. Settlement water. Down there. So underground pump, settlement water. And we'll do irrigated farms next. And then crop rotation. Okay, assign the loose storage with slag. Drag the right slider to the left to export dump. Alright, so coal mine's gonna have to wait just a little bit. We're still building pickup trucks now.
We're still building more engine parts. Seems to be a kind of a slowdown, so let's do that. Uh, no, don't want to make that. Okay, so we're making electronics, mechanical parts, and then engine parts from those. Hopefully that's enough. Okay, that should be fine. There's a lot of hype. A lot of hype and excitement. What? Why the Alex command? Tree Harvester has no truck assigned. Aw. Our new friend. Bum, bum, bum. All right, so far so good. And then settlement water will be researched eventually. Okay, that looks better. All right, more trucks are needed. You're building a secret project? Okay. The music, bro. Okay, um, we're just having a slowdown on engine parts. Oh, they just take a while to make, that's all. Those are just going to take a while to make. Pretty sure workout, bruh? For sure, bruh. more trucks after that. Do we have a trade partner we can we can trade uh hmm. 
Nah, we can't buy vehicle parts. Oh, we could increase, oh, increase their population to two. Hmm. We can make their city bigger too by helping them. Getting lots of coal. Looks like the mine will have one more step after that, after the coal. It's, it's probably going to be something like export or store X number of coal. Something like that. Another research project complete. Look at this road they're building over the mountain. It's cool. Like a snow runner map. We have twenty eight workers free. Trucks coming off the assembly line. Got to make up for the ones we gave to the other harvester. The iron mine still digging. Uh, let's see. He may have. Oh yeah, we gave him uh, enough orders for now. So let's continue on with that. Even get him to dig his way out of there. for iron anyway. Oh, 16. What's up, Seth? Welcome back, dude. Man, it's so fun to watch these vehicles load things up. Very satisfying. That's why a train system would be nice. Trains? Where we're going, we're going to need trains. Do you know what I mean? More trucks on the way. Yeah, I like this game a lot. It's a lot of fun, especially when you get uh, much more, uh, much more deeper into things. We're, we're really still very much at like the very beginning of the game. Uh, we're just mining coal and iron, and we're also uh, making coal out of cutting down trees and then putting it into a burner to make charcoal, essentially. But we're going to start a uh, coal mine in a little bit. 
but I'm working to make a uh, a coal mine. When they say potatoes will dry out. Oh, well, we're researching irrigated farms now, so that should be fine soon. Or I guess that's why we're researching settlement water. So we're okay. Yeah, that's a good question. Uh, will I play Farming Sim 22 with the production DLC? Harry seemed to be quite excited about that. I'd be interested in playing if my friends want to play multiplayer. So uh, it seems like they're interested. Uh, when does that DLC drop, by the way? I, I saw the trailer, but I can't remember the date. Uh, but also Construction Simulator. We're going to be playing Construction Sim this weekend. And Construction Sim has a new DLC out on the 16th. So since it's the weekend, I'm going to play with Harry and uh, Rick, who also play Farming Sim with me. And uh, we're probably going to take advantage of the weekend to like grind out some more Construction Sim and then co uh, cover the big update on the 16th. Or earlier, if the devs give us early access. We shall see. Looks good. You were on the fence about getting this game. It's a great game. And also, it's got some like military combat stuff to it, but it's very light, too. And uh, the coolest thing about this game is that you can customize... Like, all the things that would normally be annoying or difficult in this game, uh, you can go ahead and make tons of changes to. So, you know, if there's something that just annoys you, like uh, the weather, if you, you know, if you want it to be more or less dry or... If you want more resources or less resources, you can just change anything at any time, apparently. And there's a map editor now, so they've uh, improved this game tremendously. A lot. Part 1 should be on the channel. Just check the live stream tab for Captain of Industry. There is not a playlist yet, though, because like right now I'm just currently streaming the second episode of the new update. So just the one video up there for now. More to come. Soon. Let's store some wood. We'll change that to brick. Drug Simulator comes out on the 30th as well. Oh my god, there's so many things. There's really just too many games for the next couple months, honestly. We just won't be able to enjoy them all, so we'll have to pick our favorites. Come back to the others later. Okay, one more truck to make, and then we're on to the excavator. Which means we should probably go find coal and start building that mine. So, mm -hmm. is this oil or coal? Seems like this could be coal. That is indeed coal. All right, so we're gonna have to do that. Wait, research is almost done. Build a water facility, build a groundwater pump, and ensure water gets delivered to the water facility. Hmm.
All right, mining control tower. Locked in. All right, build a water facility. Do they mean a groundwater pump? Groundwater facility. Ah, oh, there it is. They mean a water tower. Okay. Gonna take a bunch of tier two parts for that one. Then a groundwater pump. Now we'll have to make a piping system going over there. <laughs> That's gonna be a long way to go, brother. We can make some ramps going over the pipes this time, so let's make the pipes on the ground. That's weird. Did you know that all coal comes from the same era? While well, bacteria and fungus were not able to break down complex tree-like plants, once they evolved to do this, the coal was form more formed. Oh. Really? Interesting. Also deal with sewage. Okay, so we need a liquid dump. For all the sewage. I will build it over here. That's interesting. That water facility both is a water tower and also like a holding area for sewage very interesting
Oh, there's a tree in the way. I gotta actually build the pipeline around the tree. That's cool. So used to other city builders where the tree kind of just vanishes, but that's good enough for now. Then build some ramps. Then we can do some sweet jumps. Okay, so that should be done soon, and then the coal mine is ready to go. Once we get the next excavator out, which they're working on now. Place to put rock. Rock storage? Hmm. That can't be used at the brick mine, can it? Boop, boop, boop. I see the boop. Where's our brick factory? Here. Takes coal and dirt. Oh, isn't there a thing to crush rock into dirt or something like that? I thought there was a way we could reuse that. I may be able to store it over here. Just get those trucks free. Mining priority should be iron ore though. He's up in the mountain now, so that's probably all he's going to find. Yeah, that's right. You can crush rock into gravel. That's right. And I think that could be used at the concrete plant. Rock will be easy to find. It's the roll that's hard to find. All right, good. They're building the uh, the next excavator, so we'll be ready for coal. Research and build the captain's office and activate vehicle fuel saver one. Okay. Oh, we're going to save fuel. Okay. That's good. More fuel means more driving. Captain's office. I'm gonna build my office over meow. My private uh, mansion. Mm hmm. Yeah. The rock and the roll. Yeah, yeah. Long. They got a bunch of rolls at Timmy's. Good. I'm going to need one truckload of Timmy's rolls and a truckload of rock. And we'll mix the two together to make beautiful, sweet music. I'll get rid of that. I'm going to try to store some of the rock in there, though, for stuff later. We'll have some on hand. Anno Island? You know, actually, I, I wouldn't be surprised if some people actually made it Island from Anno. In this game. Pickup truck cannot deliver wood, no valid destination. Really? Oh, are we out of storage? These might be full, they are. Okay. Alright. Yo, G. Willikas, thank you very much for the Raptor 
bear membership, dude. Thank you very much for the big O upgrade. Thanks, guys, for all the upgrades, membership, super chats, all that good stuff. Thank you. Appreciate the support. Um, all right. I could make more coal, but we're about to make a coal mine. But the wood's important for making those tier ones. We could start building tier two facilities, but I only have 22 workers remaining. So we could expand the town again. More people to feed, but we got 45 months worth of food. Fertility's kind of dropping. Oh, but we could upgrade this to the irrigated farm, so that'll help that. But I don't know if upgrading will shut down the farm where it can't work. That's probably the case. Mm -hmm. Emmanuel, thank you very much for the sub, too. Appreciate you guys' subs uh, subscriptions. It'll pop up on the screen if you do subscribe. So, yeah, thank you. Um, where's our town? Let's expand that. So the city requires... Oh. It requires 80 construction material. Well, let's build an assembly tier two. We'll start building more advanced um, assembly and then try to connect it to automation. Where's that? There it is. Well, it's also gonna take power. Takes six workers, okay, that's not too bad. I think we'll build our new automation here. And then I'm gonna connect stuff to it so it, it just it just works. All of this just works. So I want Todd to say, Todd, how does our automated facility work autonomously? All of this just works. It'll work uh, autonomously. Like, thank you, Todd. Our minister of manufacturing has this to say. All of this just works. Big hype. There's a lot of hype. Imagine Dirty, like... Dirty becomes the new Bethesda spokesman. Oh, that would be great. When can we go to war? Uh, it's a pretty close upgrade. I'm sure the game will have us do that soon. Soon. I think I want to do it this way. Also, look at that fertility there. That looks more fertile. Maybe we'll use this as a farming area. Okay, we're gonna build a tier two there. And then maybe I'll cancel this mining. And build a tier two farm there when I can. Which actually we already can. And it's kind of close to the groundwater pump. Well, we'll hold off on that. Okay, so that's got to be built. Research yet. Alright. Oh, there you go. Here's when we can research ship weapons. So, right there it shows that. Um, let's do edicts and veggies. Sounds like damn SnowRunner music.
We need a big old coal storage facility too. Not making enough iron. Should be plenty there. I see it in the rocks. Okay. More logs are coming in. Let's assign more trucks to this guy. How do I do that? I got to do it to mine control. Okay. That's interesting. We have 20 vehicle parts in storage already. They should be brought here. There we go. She's making iron again. Should do another smelter just to get rid of the rest of this scrap iron over here. But that might take construction materials we don't have. Let's see. Yeah. To build the blast furnace already takes more than what we've got.
Definitely going to need more trucks here shortly. Alright, let's put these on pause so we can convert all the product coming out iron-wise to making those trucks. These should be the only guys getting iron at the moment. More like that. Okay, so iron that comes out is going to make vehicle parts and that will help to make us a excavator. Speeding up the time a little bit. Then we gotta get storage going. We got 43 parts. How much does this take? 30. So one of these should be able to be made. Doing a quick delivery. I look nice today. Thank you. Which is incorrect and invalid. I look nice every day. Moderators will be on you soon. They're on their way. Bum, bum, bum. Vegetable farming next. Damn, things are overflowing. Also, I guess a lot of construction materials are going to the piping system, too. But in order to make that, we need more... Yeah, we gotta get the rock out of here and... Get more iron ore going, brother. All right, more irons going out. Got to make a dumping area for rock, I think.
Hmm. Yo, Athena, thank you very much for the follow on Twitch. So I guess I have to have a mind control there in order to control dumping in that region too. No, I shouldn't have to. Yeah, there we go. Oh, they're gonna just dump waste there? Oh no. Well, whatever. We need it otherwise copper and iron ore can't be uh, processed. We'll just burn the trash later <laughs> and then get rid of the rock. True American patriotism, brother. Ah, oh, finally we're making vehicle parts again. Feels good. And there too. And the excavator is going. All right, cool. So that thing will be done. Then we'll start the coal mine, which is up here. I'm going to build the tower for that. I don't really think we're going to need to, like, use that for a while because I did so much with the uh, tree harvesters. And those are okay for now. But, you know, the time will come where we'll have to call on the, uh, the, the mine. Do you know what I mean? All right. Man, those make vehicle parts slowly, but they're doing it. That's going to have to be built first. So we're definitely going to have to work on construction materials for a while. That'll always be a thing. And our piping system is taking up a lot of that too. It's cool though. Once this excavator is done, we'll claim the rewards for it and then maybe put it on uh, iron mining instead. Now we're going to take apart this whole mountain. We're going to turn this into Trash Pile Isle pretty soon. Yeah, there's piles of gravel and also, like, actual trash being dumped here from the city. Or rock. We haven't processed it into gravel yet. We're, using, we're saving it for later. <gasps> the excavator's done! Look at that! I'm going to assign the other excavator up here instead. 
instead of doing the coal mining. So I want to get the uh, the smelter fully stocked with iron ore. going to have a hell of a construction site here. build recycling centers at some point? Um, maybe. There might be a way to... Well, I guess technically this blast furnace is a recycling center because we were taking uh, leftover materials from this abandoned communication station. We were ripping up all that metal and smelting it down to be used again. So a way for reclamation. Good question. That is a good question, viewer. Steven Seagal. Supporting role? You will. take the rest over to the uh, the brickworks too which we should build a loose soil storage for them too goes. Very nice. More research, huh? Let's do concrete production so we can get that uh, crusher. Oh, then we can start building retaining walls. And custom surfaces, some of the new stuff for the update. Very exciting. There's a lot of hype. It's a lot of hype and excitement. Yep, there is. Yeah, there's a lot of different industries to work on. I don't think there's any valuables. Like, maybe there's gold for uh, computers and things like that, but not like we can ship out iron, um, emeralds and diamonds and stuff. It's mostly iron and eventually making concrete and whatnot. Bum, bum. Planet Crafter tomorrow with who? Um, I'm not sure. 
I know that Lumberjack, Dirty, and Red are all playing in Shrouded, and I don't want to take them away from the builds that they've been doing together, because they're all kind of on the same pace. Bradford's busy, I think. Too late for She Fox. Pinto is Pinto. Um, Jerry is Jerry. And probably busy now until he leaves, which is why we had our going away party for him last night. I miss him already. I wish we could have done better in Hunt Showdown, but we did our best. It was good. Actually, it was it was quite good, actually. But uh, I think it'll be Colt, unless he's playing once human. I need more friends, chat. I need to phone a friend. Have friendship tryouts. We need to get caught up on iron for a while. I'm trying to import as much iron ore in there as I can. Looks like we need more trucks and more hype. There's a lot of hype. All right, let's get two more trucks here. Iron's our slowest uh, thing down. Vibe check. Uh, check one, two. Vibes. Can you build a hype industry? Yes, we're... We're trying to export hype. We've got our large ship here ready to go. It's from the Swiss Navy. It's been borrowed. We have it on lease. No, damn it, there's no bears in this game. And don't even do what you guys did with Farthest Frontier, where you freaking get the devs to put in a bear mode. I told you guys not to do it, and then Farthest Frontier puts in a bear mode. Ridiculous. What's a pirate's uh, favorite letter? The letter R. I don't think so, actually. I think it's to see. The C. Thank you. Thank you. I'll be here all week. I own the channel. Okay, good to see trucks up there. I think we need to make more. Okay, that's going to be our next slowdown. Is just the lack of trucks. So let's get... Uh, Four more. And then what I'm going to do is try to focus on making um, more of those construction components so we can finish these tasks, which are the big freshwater pipeline that we just popped in and the, uh, the sewage thing. Was this guy trapped by the imaginary blueprint? I'll just cut out a section of the pipe. There's a lot of pipe. There's a lot of pipe and excitement. All right, I'll cut this out. Here, you're free, buddy. Go. Go do things now. Uh, what side of the ship is better for shooting stars? The starport. Wow. Yo, Jay Slider, thank you very much for the Twitch follow, too. Thank you guys for following. Thank you for subbing. Thanks for hanging out. Giveaway at the end of the stream on this game, too. Don't let me forget. If I forget, you guys got to be like, hey, where's our damn giveaway? You got to remind me. I forget often. I'm happy to have chat here. All right, looks like iron numbers are going up. That's great. All right. 
chat, you're in charge. A lot of hype. A lot of hype and excitement. <laughs> that a bear? Damn it, chat! Quit spamming bears in the chat. Alright. Oh, good. Now there's a little bit of ore there. We've got caught up on our production quotas. The shareholders been a have been appeased. For now. Hmm. Let's build another excavator. Clearly we need far more iron than we do copper. Copper production is kind of slowed. Ooh, look at... That's where all the good nutrients is right there. The good stuff. Yo, Ginnug. Thank you very much for the uh, Twitch follow. Thank you guys for all the support. Nice to see. All right, then we'll start coal mining, and then we got to get those construction components out. I guess we'll build our aggregate processor over here. Somewhere. Oh, this facility's done. Great. Make you guys make basics. Hype and excitement. Bum, 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 bum. Do I ever wear shorts at home during streaming? Yeah. It's actually getting kind of warm enough to where I, uh, I actually just cracked a window for the first time this year. Um, after the end of my last stream, I was like, ooh, it's getting warm. So I, I changed out of the hoodie. I got my long sleeve on just in case it gets a little colder. But, um, yeah, I think I'll, uh, we're, we're approaching short season now. It can vary in Minnesota. Like, usually, you know, mid-May to mid-early June is pretty nice. And then just like late June all the way through late September, it's just like I just I I don't like the heat. I gotta I gotta have the room cold, you know. Even in the winter and spring, it's got to be cold outside or in the room because I want to be warm in the bed. But too much warm, 
it, it's got a mix. It's got to be a balance. You know what I mean? It's like a submarine. I, I, I got to balance the negative tank, you know? For a submersible. June to September is hot. No, June to sub well, yeah. It well, the humidity and heat, yeah. And it could go beyond September too, usually around October, November. I, don't know, I just like hoodie weather because you know, if it gets a little warmer, you just kind of you have different hoodies, you know. Not enough maintenance. One. Build another building for more maintenance on vehicles. Good. Building another excavator. Good. Do I have an air conditioner? Yeah, but I ain't turning that on in April. Ain't no way. No, it's nice enough to where I can crack some windows. I mean, that's what I would do preferably. You know, if I could just open windows to cool things down and close them to warm things up, you know. A musky charter stream? You talking about going out on the Malax there, bud? Going up out there, up uh, get some crappies. Up by Malax there, get some, uh, go up there. Uh, go out there, I got that big walleye up there off the highway. Over by the Grand Casino there off of Malax. It's nice. Go on some boat tours. Nice place up there. Not bad. You know, it's a good. Not bad. What? That's Minnesota terms. Only if you live here you'd know what I'm talking about. Oh, you know, they're doing construction up there on 35 if you're going up to Duluth. So you might, you know, you got to get off there... Um, my daughter was going to go to St. Cloud there to get back up to the university. She had to take, uh, had to bypass, you know. I have two seasons here, winter and construction, you know. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I don't got that accent, but I know that accent. But I can tell the difference between Minnesota, Wisconsin, and Canada like perfectly. But I can't, I can't tell you the difference. But I know the difference. But that was my Minnesotan accent there. Minnesota. Canada's like that, but just with a lot more bud. Hey, bud. <sighs> Boat, Minnesota, Malax. Yo, hey, Gap77, thanks for the Twitch Prime sub, too. Appreciate the support, man. What tea flavors do I like normally? Are you are you gonna send me some tea? Exclamation point PO box. Well, some people sent some tea that I gotta try actually for my birthday. Um, I gotta try that one out. But Earl Grey lemon tea, orange, all good with me. I liked coffee, but it just the ups were too up and the downs were too down. Man, I had I had to get off coffee. Coffee was a hell of a drug. Too much for me. Yeah, Japanese tea is nice. 
Some of my friends from Japan sent me some. And I'm going back there soon, so I might bring some back, but maybe I'll just give them money to buy some for me and ship it. They're cool like that. Invalid position. This will be interesting. Sure, you betcha, yeah. And nobody says that anymore. That that's a Fargo meme. I don't think I've ever heard anybody say that. Got a, a lot of yeah, no, yeahs and no, yeah, no's, though. Yeah, I heard you uh, got a flat tire on the highway. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah, yeah, no, yeah. <laughs> Are you going to make it to the game tomorrow? No, yeah, no, yeah, no, yeah. You have to do quick math to find out how many yeses and how many noes. To find out if the answer is yes or no. I have to get these trees cut down up here too. Make room. very frightening. Are you talking about lightning or are you talking about dirty? I'm scared. Waiting on products. Ah, okay. All right, I'll need more trucks then to help ship coal around. Oh, that's easy. We got plenty of iron again. Place is moving. Got bitness coming in, big bitness. Can you explain the carving system with numbers, colors, and heights? Yeah, sure. 
Well, there's two things. There's uh, green is elevation, like you're putting stuff there. So this is where we're putting all of the rock and garbage and stuff together. And it's also being put out here, too. We're going to, like, dump rock into the sea to make, like, a pier here. But essentially what the number system is, is like a series of ramps and stuff. So right now, this elevation is at five. So five then goes to six, seven, eight, nine. This is all elevation markers. So basically, I'm these uh, vehicles are working at elevation 20, and I'm mining everything out around them. Basically, I'm building the station at Chur. <laughs> I'm building the Chur station right now. Roads? Roads? Where we're going, we don't need roads. Roads. Oh, looks like we're almost done with the uh, coal mine. Already, cool. Pause the coal maker to save on wood. Uh, I'll turn them back on for now. And then we need to build the captain's office, which is just going to take the... Um, oh, okay. We just need a few more construction components, and those are being built. No research. We're standing by. Look at that truck coming out the assembly line, brother. Not crying. It's a little uh, renewable fossil fuels in my eye, brother. What does that truck have? Coal, okay. Are the paths made by the trucks? Yeah. And uh, now you can build roads in this game. So what you could basically do is um, you can build bridges and now you can like paint the ground essentially. Well, kind of painting it. I, I don't know if it gives a benefit to the trucks. Like you can put down like you can make brick roads or cobblestone roads or asphalt or concrete roads. I don't know if it's just a visual thing or if it actually makes the trucks faster or, or more fuel efficient or whatever. But I want that to be a thing. All right, research and upgrade to Research Lab 2 and produce lab equipment. Okay. So wait, Research Lab 2. Okay. Then we got to start making labs. Hey, the piping system came in. Nice. I'll wait before I build the disposal line again. Dobre. Mama. Should be fixing a lot of that. Cool, so we're storing rock there. Dirt can be stored there now. We only have three workers, so I gotta expand the city again. Gotta do it. Gotta do it.
Yeah, copper's pretty much shut down for now. It's all right. Looks good to see all that iron being made. Oh, we need more. All right, I got to make another iron facility, I think. We're just not keeping up with demand. I think what we'll do is we'll have the first one use the scrap iron to get this thing out of the way. It's got to go. And we could take that apart and redesign it later. Can you get bigger trucks? Hell yeah, you can. You can get those big old, like, quarry, uh, you know, those big caterpillar ones with the truck tire that's, like, four stories tall. Yeah. And now you can even have vehicles uh, powered by hydrogen. So there's, like, different fuel sources, too. Are we using 980 out of 980? Oh, I think we are. Yeah, we need to generate more power. Over at the Palpatine Memorial Power Facility. bunch more of those. So every time a truck comes out that line, it means things are moving across the map a lot better, a lot faster. Stronger, better, faster. Yeah, wastewater pipes I gotta build too, but I don't have construction material. We do need that leading away from the... Uh... I gotta make more construction materials all the time. More. We need more. Hell yeah, brother, yeah. No, this game doesn't have trains yet, but I suspect that's probably one of the next things that might come along. And it'd be really interesting if you had to uh, use gravel to make, um, you know, like the uh, lay down aggregate for the, like the railroad itself. Ballast. 
to make ballast. But we're negative one worker. We're making a lot of stuff, though. So far, so good. We need metal, wood, and brick to go in there. We got so wood's good. Metal, we're kind of okay on. Bricks are all right too, but could could improve too. We got to get more. Uh, More soil delivery. Whenever we can. What's up, King Ardith? How you doing, man? Welcome back. Brother. You can also get bigger excavators, too. So all the vehicles have, like, much bigger sizes. And it's cool. Hey, here comes the uh, harvester. Getting them trees out of here. Make room for the big old mining operation, brother. Big old mining. Hi, I'm Tom Big O for Big O Mining. If you need something mined, uh, well, we'll give you peace of mind. Holes, quarries, pools. Can we dig it? Yes, we can, brother. Hell yeah. Not responsible for de death or dismemberment. All right, now we can mine a little bit met more up here. Yeah. Now. Nah. Actually, we don't need to mine that anymore. Okay, one last truck being prepped, and then uh, we're good, brother. Make that one use this recipe. Gonna be a lot to build that facility. Mm -hmm. One might require a helmet for mining. Well, I do have my America helmet nearby. Workers actually have to work at the diesel generators? Oh. Thought they were all automated. 
this captain of industry? It sure is. It's a very good game. Very fun. Oh, we're doing a key giveaway at the end, too. When I'm done with the stream, I'll drop another key for the game and keep on dropping keys when we play this or many other building games. In fact, maybe this weekend when we do Construction Simulator that features these equipments and uh, construction, it'll be a good time to give that away, too. Bum, bum. Brother, yeah. Safety first, bro? What is this, Europe? Now, imagine a game, though, where you got to build a city by, like, leveling out mountains and building tunnels and putting trains going through them. Uh. Dream game would be this. Workers and resources and, like, a little city skylines in there, too. Hmm. Perfect combo. It's OSHA, yeah. Wow, we can rename these blast furnaces too? It'd be cool if you could like rename a whole facility, like if you could like highlight that and call that like processor one or something. What I'm eventually gonna do is delete these and then do one. We'll do like a tandem system where we have two blast furnaces and four uh, metal casters and then the storage. Probably won't get that complicated here though. We'll probably have to move it somewhere else and we'll just, we'll just delete those for the parts. Or just use it as a backup and just shut it down. Use it whenever we need a little bit more. And when it comes to production, brother, always going to need more. Construction game that you played a couple weeks ago was so cool. Yeah, the one where the um, construction equipment comes out and they pour the foundation. That is cool. I want there to be a little bit more realism in that one. Because it literally shows just like a concrete mixer come out and just dump, like literally dump concrete into like the hole and then that's it. You do put down a little bit of a, like formworks and stuff like that, but um, it's a little, it could be more involved. But that's why I said I was so amazed with that game, because it was like the only one out there. Other people were saying there was one that released in like 2005 in Germany. And other than that, there hadn't been like a like a top-down tycoon construction game. And it's like, yeah, I kind of want one of those. Like where you get to buy the equipment, hire workers, design the buildings, and then actually see it all get built. I mean, plenty of games that let you design buildings and spaces and rooms and put down walls. and But they never let you see the building. So I want to play good company with my friends, too, is because there's a lot of optimization in that one. But I'm standing by. Yeah, Bow AG, yeah. I mean, for a game that old, and if people only listed that one, that was it. That's why I've been waiting so long for a game like that. Oh, a lot is missing in it? Oh. Yep. Medieval Dynasty is a great game. We got tons of videos on our YouTube channel of that one. For sure. Love that game. That's why I think a lot of people are hyped for Manor Lords because it shows a lot of the same building in Medieval Dynasty but in a city builder format. Which is nice. Okay, no more vehicles for now.
Oh, there's also one where we can do concrete slabs. Oh, that'll be good. Then we can start using that rock to make uh, concrete. And I think there's limestone up here or something. That'll do. speed up time because there's really not much else going on other than waiting. are holding at eight. Hmm. All right, we'll move at the high speed. Research Lab 2. We're going to have to research, uh, or rather, build lab equipment now. That's going to be interesting. Did I get access to the uh, press build of Manor Lords? Oh, why do you ask? Good vibe in this game. Pretty chill for most part. Okay, metal's good at 13, now 21, good. I'm going to make some tier two soon. Tier two construction materials. Fuel station out of fuel. Gonna have to go get some fuel then.
But I guess those can sit there waiting for a little while. I'll still need the tree harvesters to clear the land. Just looking forward to seeing some excellent Manor Lords content. Yeah. Yeah, we'll be streaming it probably early. We'll be putting up videos probably early. We'll be doing launch day. And I'll pretty much be playing it every day until I leave for Japan. And honestly, if I were going anywhere else other than Japan, I probably would have moved it. But, you know, Japan with my friends is kind of locked in and I got to be there. And got to put those things first but man man their lords man their lords take your time you work hard yeah well, I'm not worried about you guys I know you'll love to watch it but who I am worried about is the algorithm You're punished for PTO. They'll post on Twitter like, take the time you need for you. Take it slow. Take it easy. Don't. Here's 10 tips to remember when you're making your videos. Breathe. Smile. Sunlight. Sh happiness. Oh, did you take a day off? You'll be punished for this. Unless I create content from Japan. Oh my god. Can I take you with? Hell yeah, I'll do a little streaming. Just a little bit. I don't want to do it too much, but I really want to just get a backpack. Uh, ne next time I go, um, I've been wanting to actually build a backpack that I can stream with and walk around with. I see some people doing it on Twitch in Japan all the time. I need to learn a lot about how that will work for me see what its limitations are and how to connect to that and also what some of the rules and laws and restrictions are but it seems like for the most part so long as you're not being outright an idiot like a lot of people who go there have been recently not all of them but we all know there's a bunch of uh, I don't want to use a derogatory term but let's just say people in their 20s yeah, young people. They're causing a lot of trouble over there, but everybody's just thinking everything's uh, just a, like life is a TikTok video that they can just meme their way through. No? You get a bow and say, Arigato Kazaimas. You gotta you got do that. You gotta be, you gotta be nice. Mom, 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 mom. Annoyance content, yeah. No, you should inspire. Like, when you make content uh, and you travel, you should inspire other people to travel and tell them uh, what's involved. I, that, this is why I'm like the the most mad I am at Pinto for Pinto not over the last maybe eight to ten years that I've told him to take his um, and Bradford too for not taking their um, it's a it's a rare opportunity for these guys to be able to fly anywhere at any time for any reason and since especially Pinto is so knowledgeable about like all these things to do with like uh, TSA uh, pre-flight like all all the security things and all the hey here's where the good you know like hey if you're in uh, if you're at uh, I don't know uh, Newark Liberty here here's a really good steak place inside the like I don't know P Pinto has all this opportunity to tell people about all the cool things to do at an airport and like tell people with confidence like you don't even have to get to the airport you know two two hours at the most in most cases those types of things like a lot of people might not know that stuff so and then they should just you know fly all the way to japan to put 100 yen into a vending machine to get a coke 
and then leave. I'll never forgive him. Wow, 80 construction materials for that one? Jeez. So it looks like the biggest slowdown right now is bricks. That just comes down to them not getting enough dirt. But these trucks are getting dirt, so then they're going to go drop off coal and then bring the dirt over to the other facility. Try Japanese bathhouse, good for skin. I have. I've gone to an onsen before. This time my friends want to go, and it'll be like their first time going there to do that, but... These guys want to take like a rural vacation. I'm cool with being in the rural ones, but uh, I got to have some more action. I got to have hype and excitement. There's a lot of hype. It's a lot of hype and excitement. That's, that's right. I want to be around the trains. It, it's amazing though in Japan specifically because like you'll be in the downtown where you're surrounded by. You could you could literally stand on a bridge and turn 360 and at, at the right time. If multiple trains arrive at the stations at the same time, you'll see people pouring out of these buildings. You'll be surrounded by 50,000 people, and it'll be quiet. It'll be super quiet. You'll hear your birds chirping. I love that. Europe's like that, too. Yokohama Harbor. I think I've gone to Yokohama Harbor before. Or or close to it. Don't care about the tree harvesters. How the hell do we get this thing fueled? Are we not making enough fuel? Look at all that hype and excitement. Got to get some more construction materials. We're still standing by. Oh, looks like the bridge got completed. Good. Hey, my mansions. I mean, my uh, my office. My modest living arrangement. Got to put a few more gates around that just in case uh, they get in. A lot of hype. A lot of hype and excitement. Very hype, guys. Very hype. Much excite. 
right, I'm waiting for that steel mill too. Once this is done, this huge bottleneck should be out of here. And I need to make a dirt mine too. Looks like we have a bigger coal demand too. Uh oh. What's up, Big L? Uh, even when we build that uh, steel processor, we're going to need. more of those houses to be built. Make it two forty. I don't know. I'll just leave it there for future expansion. Looks like we're making enough parts. Once the steel facility is done, we won't have to worry about the uh, parts so much. Our schedule should be down below in the uh, description there, Don, for Frostpunk later today. With the Frostpunk uh, 2 beta coming soon, I have to prioritize that a little bit more now so I can try to get Frostpunk in before we see any of Frostpunk 2. We won't be able to complete all of the content for Frostpunk before then, but I want to try to make it more of a thing. I think this weekend we'll play some more Once Human 2. Alex and Colt seem to really like it, and uh, that's good. I hope to play more with them in the future. But, you know, we got the... I think what'll happen is we'll uh, maybe play it on the weekend, then we'll go into the Frostpunk 2 beta, and then there'll be a little bit of time before Manor Lord, so we'll play it again. That's cool. It's been fun. 
Man, all these things are kind of expensive. 30 construction materials for each of these things. Wow. That's wild. Bum, bum, bum. Yeah, I thought Alex and Cole were playing right now. It's good. I don't mind when my friends uh, get into some other games without me around. That's cool. It's a good thing. why this fuel station is not being refueled. Oh, there it goes. Yeah, we should only have a truck bringing fuel here, yeah. I think we had that on because the game wanted us to set a truck there to physically bring fuel over. But in this case, we're just piping it in. Test Drive Solar Crown is coming out on PC. Oh, is that that one we saw a couple of months ago with people like casually driving around town and stuff? That seems cool. Driving games when they're solely based on racing... And like driving around lavish cars, kind of, I feel like they just kind of get boring quick because there's not really a reason to. There's racing and stuff, of course, but vehicles are for so much more. I think it's why people love SnowRunner and ATS and your truck so much. Vehicles can actually be put to work. Brother, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's in Hong Kong. Yeah, that's what I thought. It's a, it's a pretty, it's a pretty place. The, like what they, sh the game looked cool and looked pretty. I just hope people find uh, much more to do in it after doing everything. Ooh, this is looking nice. This thing's starting to work now. And good, they're already bringing over the scrap metal, good. Good, so we're making a lot more iron, good. Now wait, can I make... One thing I didn't even think about making was the... Um, we unlocked, but I did not make the uh, thing for bricks. The crusher, yeah. What if we're going to make a concrete mixer? Some of these recipes are a little complicated. Well, we should start processing this stuff regardless. Get those trees out of there and then expand. I'll see if I can try to get more bricks being made first, because that's easy. Oh, 
Can we prioritize buildings? Uh, yeah, there's a button here to do it. More like an order or a queue. But what I'm going to try to do is not build anything for a while and just let the uh, game or our vehicles catch up with what we've given them for tasks and then start optimizing the construction tier one stuff. So we got to go with bricks and concrete blocks. I think we'll do both. Just to make use of the natural materials we get from mining. Almost fully operational. Was it good? These coal trucks are getting dirt too. we build underground in this game? Uh, kind of. You could put things underground, in a way. I heard that you could dig a trench and then put pipes in it and then bury, uh, bury the pipes. Which sounds fascinating. Oh, makes them upgrade, uh, pain to upgrade or change. Interesting. I know it was nice of Mother Nature to build that like tiered coal pagoda or whatever. So I'm gonna try to get rid of this building. Just taking all the scrap iron out of there just to smelt it. Yep, Planet Crafter just had an update. Yep, we'll be putting a video up on the channel for that. 1.0 full release. We'll put up a video uh, after this um, video. <laughs> and then we're also going to uh, take a look at Planet Crafter multiplayer tomorrow. We'll start fresh. Planet Crafter is an outstanding game. It was made by primarily a, a married couple. And uh, th these two did an outstanding job. I mean, the game was an interesting concept when it started. 
And I was like, all right, we'll see where this goes. But I don't know. The, the fact that they were able to nail, like, making fish and bugs and um, eventually, like, you know, getting trees and firing rockets up into space and getting hit by meteorites and building a base that's like... It's like, you know, you start on a Mars-like planet, but there's um, some hidden secrets and stuff to it. If Colt hasn't played it before, I'm going to... It's going to be interesting to play with Colt and then... Um, you know, I know some of the things, but I don't, I don't want to tell him, so I'm going to try to be secretive about it and see if he can figure things out. It's like if I was to do another Raft playthrough or something, I'd like to play with people who don't know and then, like, guide them towards certain answers, but not... You know, pretend it's my first playthrough too, so that way they have the most fun as well. Like if you play Valheim with somebody and you're trying not to spoil. It's like, oh, dude, how do we mine? Dude, how do I get a pickaxe? It's like, I don't know, man. But let's take on the first boss and see what happens. You know, that kind of thing. Hey, what's up, Mon? Welcome back. Hello, Raptor and chat raid. Are you raiding? Thanks, YouTube, for giving no notification whatsoever. Chat, you know what's been happening to me till a lot? I got a notification of a live stream from somebody 13 hours after it was over. YouTube's so broken. I've been watching... Uh, we'll do, like, YouTube premieres, and, like, four or five hundred of you people will be watching, uh, like, a YouTube video. A pre-recorded video will release, and then 400 people will be watching it, chatting live. And then after the stream, it'll get, like, a bunch of likes, a bunch of comments, and then YouTube will say, like, only 40 people watched it. And it's like, there is no better way to kill a video than after it goes live when people see low low view counts and stuff that they think, like, the video is not good or, like, there's a problem with it or something like that. No better way to do that, YouTube. Like, awesome, you know? Like, in actuality, the video's got four or 5,000 views within the first hour, and it shows 40, so people are like, oh, must have been a bad game. People must hate it. <laughs> like, YouTube, come on. You know how this game works. Like, people will vet videos based on what kind of views they get. So reflect the views accurately. Uh, accurately. You know, like, don't inflate the view count. Don't shrink the view count. Just display the view count. That's all you gotta do. It's very easy. You've done that since day one. But whenever they manipulate and tweak things, then they get all screwed up. They used to do that. Do you guys remember the day on YouTube when um, whenever somebody would release a video and then like if the video got over 300 views in the first hour, it'd be stuck at like 301 for like the first couple of uh, hours or something like that. Went all downhill since they hit the dislikes. Yeah. Well, too many companies were having their profit margins hindered by you guys negatively reacting to trailers and expressing your opinion, and that's not the point. YouTube essentially is like the uh, force-feeding tube, and you're just here to consume. Don't want to hear feedback. Don't want to hear what you want. What you want. Just purchase, consume. Watch the Mint Mobile ad and go out and see the new Ryan Reynolds movie and pipe down. Also, buy YouTube Premium. But also watch the ads. Do both. But, you know, I um, sometimes I get flustered because when there are problems, like, for example, Dirty not being able to chat in the chat, like, I don't know how to convey that to the YouTube team. And if I tell them about that, they'll just be like, working as intended. I could tell them about the view problem, but three things will happen. Either A, by the time I tell them it'll be fixed, B, uh, it's KG, it's the KGB Politburo where it never happened, comrade. It was always that way. That's the correct way it should work. You know, Jedi mind tricks. <laughs> or the last thing is, uh, we'll look into it and then you never hear anything back. Hate it. Stop it, YouTube. Just work. It, it, it should just work. All of this just works. Yeah. I want to be on one of those shareholder calls. Could you tell us how the platform actually works? All of this just works. And then they just hang up. Funny that you can hear the dollar signs in the background, too. <laughs> Alright, I'm getting too old man yells a cloud. I'll relax now. What 
the hell else are they building? What's the priority here? Priority eight. Wait, is everything on the same priority? That can't be. Oh, I thought it was a queue order. Well, we shouldn't be building much else. You do miss Booster too? Booster was in the chat today. And the other day too. Also, it was fun to play. Uh, we, we played with Booster recently on uh, Content Warning, which was a lot of fun. So that was cool. That was cool. Mandatory coolness confirmed. They need to deliver coal, too, so I have to leave that on. Sag. All right. Um, well, at least both uh, facilities are now kind of working. Just the slag output and the coal. Feels good to see so much iron. Okay, now we're having a shortage of wood again, so let's shut these down. keep them busy for a while. This <laughs> song is so catchy in this game. I love it. Is this in-game music? It is, yeah. They've added like 30 minutes of more music too, so that's cool. Bricks, iron, wood. There's a yellow arrow for prioritization. Uh, let me see. You mean this thing? Oh, this. Trucks will prioritize operation and make it finish as soon as possible. I see. Yeah, let's make that one priority. Thanks, bro. This thing's almost done too at 462. I 
And we got more coal which could be brought over, which means more dirt that could be dumped. Lincoln Park vibes? Really? interesting every building in this game seems to take 30 construction material though like loose storage takes 30 and so does like a blast furnace most things Okay, so the research labs are next. They need to be upgraded, so we need... Oh, I need those damn lab components, so i got to figure out how to make those. But first, got to finish that wastewater and stuff. All right, there we go. Facilities get complete. Great. Now we got to increase dirt delivery to the brick factory. make another excavator. Have we research crop rotation? Uh, yeah. I actually want to move that farm. I want to move that. Yeah, I'll do it over here at the coal mine. I can use this as another dumping area for trash and whatever else. Brown, brown. 
All right, then we just got to get the uh, construction parts good with the new excavator. Ah, good, perfect. It's ready. Okay, so they're going to go get fuel. Yeah, this game's great. If you're waiting for Manor Lords, at least add this one to your wish list. This is a lot of fun if you want, like, a Factorio but City Builder. Like, like there's certainly a lot of factory stuff to do in this game and in Factorio, but this one's got some cool farming elements and some other stuff. Certainly unique. Starting to make them bricks, y'all. Okay, it's not going there quite yet, but we'll stand by. All right, 380 on that other one. Hopefully we're prioritizing that dirt. Is there a cargo ship? Yeah, there is a cargo ship. Um, that one, which we can eventually turn into a battleship. See if we can make that aggregate processor. We need a concrete mixer. Well, we're gonna need water. Of course, that's going to take tier two materials as well.
Pop on those conveyors. Let's try with one space. Okay, smokestack exhaust. Then we want conveyors. That's a little nicer. Okay, doing a couple things to use that coal to Alright, what do we want built next? Probably the brick factory first. Then the trucks can deliver stuff to that manually. While the other things get done. So the next thing we're really trying to build is this. The uh, construction parts. These things here. So that just takes bricks, wood, and metal. Or logs. And then to upgrade it so we can actually make more. And then to provide more dirt for that. Oh, it looks like the concrete mixer is done. Good. So we do cement, sand, crushed slag. Ooh. Or gravel. Oh, we can get that from rock, too. Well, we got a lot of slag. Uh, we could probably do that. We're going to mine sand, though. But we'll work on getting it set up. Uh, looks like a lot of construction parts are going there. Yeah, we're going to need more workers if we're going to build new factories. They're getting l locked in. Get locked in. Locked in. That would be cool in the future is if uh, we could build... I don't know if we can do this, but to build bridges... Like, uh, not just like little ramps. Not that, but like... It'd be cool to build like a viaduct or something, like from... Know, let's just say there was another mountain here we could just build a bridge between. I don't know if there's a way we could do that. Cool as hell, though. You get overwhelmed quickly by the micromanaging of these games. Yeah, I don't blame you. With all the research and stuff going on, it's very hard, uh, very easy to um, get like distracted by something and want to see how it works. Luckily, um, when it comes to the city builders, some of them have like a sandbox mode where you can just build and see how it works and kind of reverse engineer. But a lot of these games kind of do 
a really good job of trying to give you as many tutorials, but I still feel um, they make uh, they kind of they assume that you've played a lot of these games before. Even with the tutorial in this one, there's still some some gaps, but they do a pretty good job. What can be dumped here? No to five cannot dispose. Two and six. Well, good news is that brick factory is churning out bricks. And the second one's being built. So hopefully that solves a lot of our supply problem. First it was the iron, but it wasn't that bad. But the bricks were kind of bad the whole time. But, you know, this game is always like more and more and more. Once you master the... Uh, basic materials then you got to make new stuff and then do more anyone you can recommend i try sandbox mode i want to learn enjoy manor lords um i would say you know you could pl you could start with anno 1800 and try to do the career mode or the campaign mode but for pure building you could also play a game called townscaper you could also play farthest frontier but put it on peaceful mode so there's no raiding or attacks and is very very easy and um like very patient with you but also the one we put out today a video on a game called Lasara Summit Kingdom can also be played in free build mode so it'll allow you to build a, a city without having to deal with the materials and stuff so once you kind of figure out how you want to lay stuff out then you can start playing by the game's rules and you'll have some experience in knowing where the buttons are you know you'll know the menus and how to build stuff and how to do the basics and then just kind of follow the game's rules that kind of thing which is pretty cool. It's nice. Alright, so this will be done shortly. How did fuel go? Alright, cool. So we're keeping this pretty, pretty full here. There's not too many vehicles over here, but that fill bar is nice. And this is going to be coal. How do you get rid of slag? Uh, you can get rid of slag by uh, you can bury it, or it, you can put it out like out at sea. Uh, but you could also use slag though. When you go to make uh, concrete, it's part of the whole concrete making process. So you can crush it. So once you research the crusher, you can put it in the crusher and use it in the construction of concrete. Now, where is our... I also gotta figure out how to make lab equipment, and I assume it's in the tier two. It is, electronics, okay. I want construction materials first though. Anyway, uh, where was I? I want to build the... Rotary kiln. Used to produce cement. So that's limestone and coal. So we got to start mining limestone. And then the crusher can turn uh, 
slag into crushed slag. You know, practice will make perfect. You gotta you gotta build something a few times to know how it's built. That's kinda cool. Practice will indeed make perfect. Your iron production keeps shutting down for output full, but nothing is on the line at all. Uh, is it in the Oh, make sure you're using the right conveyor belt. Use the U-shaped conveyors. Make sure, make sure the building's not full of stuff. Use the U-shape. Try to build a loose storage, maybe. That's a good question, though. All right, now we're on to making concrete. That's awesome. A little bit of a snag with the uh, construction materials, but honestly, now we got two brick factories. Pretty much ready to go with a few extra little added things to continuously make dirt. So we've got two excavators. We're going to dig a hole and try to get even more dirt that way. And uh, by the time we're getting the bricks sped up, we're also going to be doing uh, concrete uh, blocks. So that should hopefully give us plenty of storage of bricks and blocks to get all the Tier 1s done. Because Tier 1 construction materials are also used in construction of Tier 2. All right, folks, we're going to build something else now. We're going to build ourselves a planet in our first look at the 1.0, well, a little earlier than the 1.0 full release of Planet Crafter, a game that is out now on Steam and has multiplayer and it's very cool. So we're going to jump over to that video, and I'll be back in a bit to survive the bitter cold of winter with all of you in Frostpunk to get ready for the one, uh, the 15th, sorry, the, the Frostpunk 2 beta on the 15th of uh, April. August is a whole different month. April. Cool. Sorry, <laughs> there's a lot going on. All right, click or tap that link, and you guys will be live redirected at our first look at Planet Crafter, and we'll be playing Planet Crafter tomorrow as well uh, and play some multiplayer. So click or tap that link. We'll be back for more Captain of Industry, and I'll do a giveaway right after the stream. I'll probably forget, so you have to remind me. But anyway, that's where I'm going. So I'll see you all there in a bit. Thank you very much, everybody, for watching. Yeah, yeah, yeah.